Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to another Dokkan Battle video. It's been a little bit, but I, mean, I missed out on the Yamcha um, review because I didn't think anyone really cared about him. But we're going to go talk about these Golden Weed units instead. So, his leader skill is pretty decent. Ter terrifying Conquerors, but also has Battle of Fate. Uh, World Tournament, not really going to be useful that well. And Giant Form, also really niche. And Gifted Warriors also kind of niche, but let's look what we got on Battle of Fate. Uh, I got the new Goku. Is this the, no? That's the that's the easy one. This is this is the physical one right here. Is the new Goku. So at least there's that. You also have Gohan. You have the Easy A Super Saiyan God. I mean there are, there are some options in here. Also the the Piccolo. So that's an option. What about uh, Gifted Warriors? The Easy A Piccolo, both Easy A Piccolos at the top of the list. The new Super Saiyan um, Vegeta. So this leader skill actually is pretty good. You can run, a, you can actually make a good, pretty good team with these guys. So it's pretty good. Um, and basically, all all this boils down to is he's basically cooler, the LR cooler, but he has a lot of giant form. And a lot of other things, um, so pretty good. Uh, this this effect is probably not going to come into play very much. Um, so you want to definitely build this guy with additional, so you can additional even more. Heard you like additional, so I put additionals in your additionals. And uh, let's look at what his giant form is going to be looking. Oh yeah, I forgot this uh, active skill is Mimi. It's becoming you know talk of the town because you can use it on the first turn, pretty much, right? So, because of, of this part where you're going to be facing uh, four more, or you're going to be facing two more enemies in, in a world tournament, for example, so you're going to be able to use that on the first turn. So it's an AOE damage, very good. And I don't know where his giant form is on the screen. This, I guess. He raises his attack, has destructive damage, and effect effective. <laughs> Attacks effective against all types, so pretty good, um, pretty good here. Last for two to three turns, and reverse probably so it's half and half. All right, so that's pretty good. I think that's a pretty good transformation state. You may not even want it though. I mean, it, it was more like giant forms at this point are just kind of like time wasters to you know get yourself out of a bad situation or something like that. So. Overall, pretty good. He has big bad bosses. Uh, the other one, the Fierce Battle. Some of the other ones aren't really going to be useful, though. Like, Incredible Adventure. And Guidance of the Dragon Balls. Tough as Nails, maybe. Uh, some of those links are not looking too good, though, guys. Not looking too good. So, you've got um, Garlic Jr. You've got... Some of these are really not anything you would use. Some of these, I don't know, like his links are really bad as you can see here, guys. And these are the top 25 guys that he can link with and none of them are really that valuable. Besides LR Cooler, you have um, Turles. You have the new Goku, but I don't think you would run him with, with that. And Me Me uh, Metal Cooler, you wouldn't run him, I don't think. Maybe you would because of the HP re um, regeneration, I guess, but not really. Transforming Frieza, maybe. He's okay. <sighs> Some of these things are not looking too good, guys. That's what I what I saw already when I was when I was reviewing when I was looking at him and everything. I was like, his links are not very good. So overall, he's very strong. So basically what you would be doing with this guy is you wouldn't rely on his links whatsoever. You'd rely on him just being able to be a damage dealer. Because at this point, there actually are several units in the game that are very powerful, but their links are kind of bad. So you basically have to just make the best of it. Make the best of it, put him with Piccolos, and go to town. Because that's really all you can do. Um, that being said, is he worth pulling for? If you like, if you like, For some reason, if you like World Tournament... Then yes, it's a it's a good pull. If you don't really care about World Tournament, but you just wanted to go, you want to go through it very quickly, then this still got, is very good because of his active skill. His active skill and also his passives here are what really sells the unit. So 
I think I'm gonna give him an 8.5 out of 10. And the reason why he's getting a lot lower of a score is because his links are very bad. Maybe you can correct me in the comment section down below, but yeah, he has big bad bosses. But like, look at all those other things, like Guidance of the Dragon Balls. Who's using that? Who's using the Incredible Adventure? Thirst for Conquest, I think, is kind of a thing. Yeah, there, there's some, there's some stuff in here, and transform, kind of. But what does transform do? Oh, key plus three. Okay, so I mean, you could run Piccolo's with that. You could run the, you could run the LR Piccolo with him. Uh, Fierce Battle. Most people have that, but his links is the reason why he's getting a lower score, in my opinion. Anyways, let's look at the new Goku. Earthbred Fighters. Not really the best. You have the new you have the you have this guy on it, but I think you'd I think you'd rather put him as just one of your teammates instead of being a leader. But we'll see. Let's see. He has powerful comeback, which you can make a lot of people on. As you can see here, there's tons of people you can put on. Uh, this leader skill actually because he also has battle of fate which allows you to put a lot of other characters on so pretty decent he has he has basically the um, se seventh year LR um, guard for one turn so decent allows you to get allows you to get a, allows you to get a good decent start no matter what happens because he has guard guaranteed he has decent stats for five turns and he also gets a 10% attack and defense with attack, each attack received, up to 100%. Attacks against all types, so he's very good in red zone, since you're only going to be face, most times you're only going to be facing one enemy. Uh, high chance of nullifying key blast, only at him though. High chance of guarding. I know a lot, not a lot of people like that, at least it's something. He's going to be getting a pretty good stats while being able to guard even in the second slot. Uh, there's no, there's no. Oh, you have to, you have to go, you have to be in slot one for a high chance. You can, you can guard in slot one, two, or three. So, might be valuable to actually put it be in slot two to guard, because that usually is one of the harder, you know, slots to be in. And launches additional attack. Yeah, well, well, guards active, so that's kind of a niche thing there. But you can still pull that off, depending on when you, if you get that revive off, and. You get additional 20% defense, and you also get turn for the turn for characters out. So the the best part about this is the, this is the main reason why you want to pull for this guy, because it doesn't matter if he gets his own revive off or if someone else does. Well, it does matter. It, someone gets revived, he's gonna be able to get this bottom part. So the um, Carnival Goku, for example, the tech version. Who I'm surprised he's not at the top of this list. Um, interesting. But you definitely want to run the Carnival Goku with this guy because either this guy gets the revive off or the Carnival Goku gets the revive off and then he gets that bottom part right there. That is the biggest combination with this character. This is the reason why you would want to pull for him. Links, all in the family, World Trun Champion, not going to be useful. Guy into the Dragon Ball is not very useful. Incredible Vancer is not very useful. So. You're looking at the Saiyan lineage, fierce battle, and all the all in the family, and these that's not even a good link. Twenty percent defense, I guess, is okay, but no key in fighter, no like the, that's the reason why you're not seeing a lot of characters here at the top because Kid Goku's that's a good that's a good person to put on your team. Um, but then like what else? What else you got? I guess you could run Go Gohan. Beast Gohan, quote unquote ultimate, uh, ultimate Gohan, both ultimate Gohans. Uh, these links are not, it's not looking too good for this team guys. I mean, I know you can still build him and I once again, just like Piccolo, you basically would want to just say screw the links and just put him in a good, really good team. And since he has a lot of these things here that he has, uh, he'll be able to do pretty well because he has key plus five for five turns and then he goes down to three. So. Thankfully, he is not an LR. If he was an LR, he'd have a really, really hard time. Actually, we very thankful that these are not both of these are not LRs, or else we'd be having a very hard time. Or they, their links would have to be better because there would have to be something that that would have to happen. So I'm gonna give this guy a nine out of ten. 
Very good unit. If you're saving for anniversary though, you're probably not going to pull in any, in, in any either of these. But if you want them, you can try and get them. I went one, I did one rotation each for both banners and I didn't get either of them. So, kind of sucks in my opinion. Kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Alright guys, that's going to be for this video guys. Thank you guys very much for watching. Appreciate you. Hope to see you in the very next video, whatever that may be. And let me know in the comment section down below if you got them or you're pulling for them or you're skipping. And I'll see you next time.